If you love Game of Thrones, you'll be pleased to know that House of the Dragon is not far away, a prequel to the series once again based on the works of George R. R. Martin. But once you've watched that and you've rewatched Game of Thrones time and time again, what do you do next? Well, of course, you go on a journey through the best TV shows that are like Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. And do you know what? We've gone and brought them all together just for you. So, shall we start? Yes. Yes, we should. Hey there, Tim from Screen OD here. I hope you are doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we really do appreciate everyone who supports the Screen OD channel. Now, Game of Thrones was one of the biggest shows of the last few decades and one of the biggest fantasy hits of all time. It looks like House of the Dragon will be similarly popular. But what do we watch when we haven't got those on our screens? Well, if you like fantasy and you like the exploits that take place in Game of Thrones, then you're probably into power politics and you may well like a dragon or two or a mysterious force going on. You probably like families at war and there may be a good chance that you like an epic battle. Well, we've got bits of all of those things in the shows that we have lined up for you today. So all you need to do is settle back, relax and enjoy a journey into the fantasy realm as we look for shows that we really think are going to scratch the itch that Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon have left for you. Let us start our journey now with a Netflix show. It is The Witcher. Starring Henry Cavill as a monster hunter in a dangerous world of magic and mystery, this is a series that, like both Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, is based on books. On this occasion, from the pen of Polish author Andrzej Sapowski, the comparisons between this Netflix series and the HBO fantasy shows have been made from the moment it hit the air. And although The Witcher is also set in a fantasy world that has medieval inspiration, on this occasion called The Continent, not Westeros, and it involves politics, fighting and bloodshed, there are marked differences in style and substance. However, there are enough similarities that those who enjoyed the quest for the Iron Throne are sure to also enjoy this adventure. Now, we move away from fantasy next to a show that certainly has a lot of politics in it. It's time to take a holiday to Italy because we're going to talk about the Borgias. If the power politics at any cost attitude of the feuding families in Game of Thrones is a side of the show that you were particularly drawn to, the Borgias will appeal to you. Set in Renaissance Italy, the show follows the story of the Borgia family as they relentlessly pursue their quest to take the papacy. Starring Jeremy Irons and Holiday Granger amongst others, this is a story of twisted family politics, cruel intentions and brutal encounters that sometimes end in bloodshed. There's no dragons circling overhead but there's plenty to remind you of the goings-on of Game of Thrones that you would be missing from the world of Westeros. Next, we do have something that involves a dragon, although it may not be exactly as you think. It's not always flying around in the series blowing fire at people, but dragon is mentioned in the next show, which is a hint as to what it might be. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's on Prime Video. It is, of course, The Wheel of Time. Yep, we've got another fantasy series here and another show based on novels. Perhaps you are starting to see a theme develop. This time we look to Prime Video for a big budget adaptation of Robert Jordan's novels of the same name. Starring Rosamund Pike as Moriane, a member of Ice Sede, an organisation of women who can channel immense power. This series follows a quest around the world. But who is the dragon, the powerful entity that broke the world? And when will the prophecy of that return happen? At this point, the world will either be reborn or destroyed forever. This is high fantasy that will certainly intrigue fans of Game of Thrones. And it mentions dragons, which is always a bonus. I am Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. No, I am Spartacus. Look, I think you get the idea. What do you think the next thing is? What do you mean? You don't know. Well, I'll give you a clue. I am Spartacus. Yeah, it's Spartacus. Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon didn't invent blood and gore on the screens, although they certainly seem to perfect it with episodes like Battle of the Bastards. Nor do they have a monopoly on sex on screen. Long before these shows were being produced, Spartacus was delivering a shocking amount of blood, violence, sex and sensation to viewers through lens of the Roman Empire. This show isn't as nuanced or carefully plotted as the fantasy show that came after it, but if you are looking for a programme filled with action... This is certainly a place to press play. 
Now this one probably is a bit of a curveball and I said that they're not all exactly the same as Game of Thrones by any means but I think the feel of this show and some of the stuff that goes on in it will appeal to Game of Thrones fans. Now I've just realised I haven't said the name of the show. I probably should. Yes, it, it, it's Outlander. Yes, perhaps this is one of the shows that is less directly comparable to Game of Thrones on the list, but Outlander is, yes, you guessed it, based on a series of novels on this occasion by Diana Gabaldon. It tells the story of Claire, played by Katrina Balfe, a nurse in the Second World War who is transported mysteriously back to 18th century Scotland, and Jamie, played by Sam Hewan, a Highland warrior with whom she becomes romantically attached, are at the centre of the story. There's, there's more time travel than in Game of Thrones, but for those of you who like these slow burn love stories, power struggles and battles of the aforementioned series, there's plenty in Outlander for you to hang on to. Right, we're doing really well on our list and we are almost at the end. We've only got a couple more. Before we get to the next one, just a reminder, if you like the video, why not like the video? It doesn't cost anything. It's just one click and it will help other people discover great content that they enjoy. Also, if you like what we do generally here at Screen OD, I'd advise that you subscribe to the channel because that way, completely free of charge, every time we release a video, it will go direct to your feed, which means you can just kick back, relax and enjoy the content content and have a better streaming life. Right, adverts over. Let's move on to the next show on our list, which is Vikings. Inspired by the adventures of Ragnar Lodbrok, a legendary Viking hero who goes from being a farmer to a Scandinavian king while conquering lands in Europe, this series is based on many of the Norse heroes of the medieval era. If you're someone who enjoys the epic battle and fight scenes from Game of Thrones, you'll certainly get your fix from this series, as well as a more than healthy dose of family politics across generations and struggles to take and maintain power while everything around the family appears to be on fire. Hooray, we've got to the last entry in the list. You've got incredible stamina and you have already found yourself some great shows to watch. But there is one more that you might want to consider and I've saved it to last mainly because it has in the title the word last. That's how scientific these things are. Yep, it is indeed The Last Kingdom. Yep, it's based on a book, at this time an adaptation of Bernard Cornwell's The Saxon Stories. The Last Kingdom centres on the life and times of Uhtred of Bebenberg, played by Alexander Draymond, a Saxon warrior who has been brought up by Vikings after they raided his village as a child. They could have made a Vikings crossover, perhaps a missed opportunity there. Once again, we have a show that is filled with twisted power politics and messy family relationships, struggles to rise to the very top and battles that will keep you on the the edge of your seat. Perfect for the Game of Thrones enthusiast on their day off. Right, so that's it. That's your list of shows to go and watch if you like Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. As I said at the top of the video, they're not all exactly the same as those shows. In fact, they're not even all fantasies, but hopefully they all have something that you can see is in their essence that will appeal to you if you like the aforementioned shows based on the works of George R. R. Martin. So go and watch them, enjoy them, and also go and enjoy some more videos on Screen OD because we have some great content that I promise you will make your streaming life better. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and we will see you again very soon.